It'll be years before we can live without our suits completely. But right now... Right now, I have this. Commander Shepard, I understand you are bringing a new fleet into this war. Yes, Counselor. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. I can't believe you convinced both sides to stand down. I had a lot of help. We're still facing isolated pockets of Geth. They appear to be Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they're a minor threat relative to the full Geth fleet. Regardless, Commander, you've given us the first reason to hope in this war. Speaking of which, I have information for you vital to the war effort. I'd prefer to share it in person. What if I come to the Citadel? That would be preferable, Commander. Meet me in Counselor Udina's office. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Commander, something on your mind? What about the extra help we've picked up along the way? Bringing in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support, while the Geth attack Reaper supply lines. How about the Asari and Salarians? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? We're getting there. And with the Reapers pressing their advantage across all fronts, we don't have a lot of time to catch up. What's the Reaper situation? It's not trending well, even if you did buy Radix some time. Our threat projections show the Reapers will gain the advantage on most other fronts. And now the Asari are a prime target. They're the most advanced race in the galaxy. We'll soon find out if that means anything. If I may, Admiral, I have a personal question. Speak freely, Commander. Why me? Why put me in charge of all this? Because you're the only soldier in this whole damn Navy who knows how to kill Reapers. Well, you just have to be smart and hope you get lucky. Anyone can figure it out. Your dossier says otherwise, Shepard. You stopped the Batarian slavers on Elysium all those years ago. What you did... The people who survived that ordeal still thank you by name. And because of that, you think I qualify to save the galaxy? Shepard, let me tell you something that I've learned the hard way. You can pay a soldier to fire a gun, you can pay him to charge the enemy and take a hill, but you can't pay him to believe. I don't follow, sir. Your trip through the Omega-4 Relay? That was a suicide mission, if there ever was one. Yet there your crew was, standing beside you, proud to serve. Why? Because they believed in you, their leader. That's what I need now. Where we're taking them is liable to get pretty hairy, and I know you're the one who will get us to the other side. Nothing more, sir. And Shepard, I thought you might like to know I've got word on your mother. Oh? She's alive and well and promoted to Rear Admiral. She's helping us plan logistics for the Crucible. Thank you, sir. That's a relief to hear. I figured having another shepherd around couldn't hurt, and she's damn proud of what you're doing out there. Hack it out. at your private terminal, Commander. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. 
He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. Don't worry, trainer. Joker knows better than to let anything happen to my favorite comm officer. Flatter me all you like. I'm still not feeding your fish. I was terrified at first, strapped into a safety harness. I can only imagine what it was like having that thing chasing you. But then I was furious. Just... Uh, enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. communication from the fleet. Sorry, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jumpstarting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but... Yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. Hey, Shepard. Another Reaper has died. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these Quarians, let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. 
The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish, century upon century, letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces, and we are their prey. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Reaper gone, and peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There's still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day... The Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Feel free to look around. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies, and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not gonna turn again. I'd bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed, so did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Thought you were bluffing on the flush. Good for you. Cannon, Lieutenant. 
<laughs> yes, sir, Major Alenko, sir. Shepard, I'd deal you in, but Vega just cleaned me out. Oh, come on. That really as deep as your pockets go? No sentimental crap stowed away? Investments? I got some land on the Sunshine Coast I could put up. <laughs> I'll pass. That was quite the negotiation you've pulled off. And having both the Quarians and the Geth on our side? That's a very good thing. Totally took down a Reaper. Yep. Sure did. Yes, you did. Hell yeah. And you know, I'm just gonna have to go with you on trusting the Geth. I hope it works out. Now let's talk later.